what's going on guys didn't see you there just sitting here jamming out on tracy blue showing her some love it's been a while so saturday to take her off the wall speaking of blue i think it's time we get the elephant out of the room we talk about this guy yeah the true blue fragrance blue de chanel but what about the fragrance that smells a lot like blue de chanel but it's half the price I'm talking about this guy Miss Oni, Parfum Pour Homme. Yeah. Today we're going to break these two down. We're going to do a battle of the blues. So stay tuned. Oh, oh, oh. Before you go, we're also going to be doing a giveaway. You can win yourself a bottle of this. So even more reason to stay tuned. Add a little sugar on top for you. Cue that intro. <laughs> Welcome back, Fragrance Family, to another episode of My Two Cents. My name is Brian, and this is the show all about boosting your confidence through the art of fragrance and becoming a lasting scent member. Real quick, I just want to say hadley doodly to all the new subscribers, man. This week has been great for us. Great. Our family tree is getting huge. I'm talking huge and really quick. I, way faster than I expected. So thank you so much for accepting me into your fragrance family. I'm so freaking blessed. If you are new to this channel and this is your first time stopping by, then take a quick second for me. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so that you know when I'm posting new content. Throw me up one of these because it helps me get my two cents out there and helps this family tree grow and grow and grow. And drop me some comments down below because I truly do enjoy talking to each and every one of you. So happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. I'm a doggy daddy, so it's happy doggy daddy's day for me. But I hope you guys are having a great weekend. And I hope sons and daughters watch my Father's Day episode and buy you some fragrances. If not, we'll go over there and watch it. It'll be right here so you can go buy yourself some great fragrances. I want to smell like Blue de Chanel. I get it. It's such an iconic fragrance. But what if I told you you could smell a lot like Blue de Chanel without having to buy a dupe or a clone for half the price or even less? And it's Missoni Parfum Pour Homme. So we're going to jump right into the battle of the blue whiffs and sniffs. So we're going to start with Blue de Chanel. I'm going to throw the notes right up here for you. And we're going to get to spraying. I'm going to spray Blue de Chanel right here on my left hand. And let's dive into it. So I've been doing a lot of testing with these two. Here's Blue de Chanel in a nutshell. As you can see, you have citruses up top, you have some sweet pink pepper, and then you're gonna get some mint. For me, you get a lot more of the ginger that's coming in from the heart and some opulent jasmine. The jasmine note is gorgeous in this. It is a very well blended fragrance. I mean, it's blue to Chanel, if you didn't know. Chanel makes incredible fragrances. Now the citrus in blue to Chanel is very well blended. It's very well rounded. It is a very nice bright citrus. That starts mixing with that really nice jasmine to give it some nice aromatics. You get a little bit of that mint, but it's just kind of hanging out in the background. The mint really doesn't take hold until it further dries down. The ICO Super in this gives it a nice woody muskiness. And then you, I don't get much of the cedar, but the sandalwood and the full dry down makes it nice and creamy. Now I do get a little bit of the mint in the dry down. I it might just be on my skin. Now let's get into Missoni Pour Homme. I'm gonna leave the notes up right here. I'm gonna spray it right here on my right hand. Like I said, I've been doing a lot of testing between these two. And here's a big difference. So Missoni, even though you can see it's got citrus, it's got a lot of the same notes. This citrus and jasmine and ginger, no mint. This has a tart apple uh, note in it. And the citrus is not as bright. It's a little more tart and it's a little sour especially when you initially spray it. The difference between Blue de Chanel and Missoni is this. Missoni has more of a soapy, fresh cleanliness, and that's coming from the lavender. Blue de Chanel has more of this really nice, rounded, opulent jasmine. Gives it a little bit of sweetness, and it's gorgeous. Not saying Missoni isn't. Missoni just well, it's a little rougher around the edges, but still is a beautiful fragrance. But the center is a little bit more tart, it's more fresh, soapy, and clean. Now, when you get into the full dry down with both of these, patchouli and vetiver in Blue de Chanel do a great job of giving a nice herbaceous green cleanliness. And in Missoni, you get more of an oak. Oak in it just gives it like a nice white wood, soft kind of feel. And, and that with the sandalwood, 
mix them with the patchouli and the birch. They all kind of just give it this slightly smoky green facet. Blue Chanel, you get that incense coming in, which just makes it a little bit more royal and regal. I know you're wondering which one's better. But before we get into that, let's talk about the giveaway. I know you're excited because I'm excited. So we're going to do a two for a giveaway. Because this week has been, like I said, incredible for us. So to say thank you for 300 subscribers, we're going to be giving away this bottle of Missoni Parfum Pour Homme. You can see it says tester, not for sale. I can't sell it to you guys, but I can give it away. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, throw me up one of these, and drop me a comment down below that says, you're my boy, Blue. That's all you need to do. And I will be announcing the winner in one week from today. The next contest I'm going to be doing is going to be for a subscriber. Just a random subscriber. I think I'm like 20 away from 400. So whoever is my 400th subscriber, all you have to do is like and comment and say, this is Sparta. 300? No, 400. See what I did there? I'm going to do something special for you. I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's a surprise. I love surprises. You should too. Happy hunting. Thank you so much again for all the love and support. You guys are freaking phenomenal. But let's get back into the fragrances. Okay, which one's better? Let's talk about performance. Blue de Chanel. I get about six to seven hours on my skin. Sillage, uh, it doesn't have a huge sillage on me. I get maybe a foot. But it is very well put together. It's a beautiful fragrance. Missoni. I think there's Ambroxan in this. I get between eight and nine hours. Let's just put it this way. I sprayed them both on my hands last night. I still smelled the pour ohm on my hand this morning when I woke up. Blue de Chanel was gone. So that means it could last up to 10 to 12 hours. Just saying. This one has a way better projection, better sillage. I get about three, three and a half foot. Uh, there is something in this that definitely helps it project. I don't know what it is. It, there's no Ambroxan in the note breakdown, but I think there's Ambroxan in it. But as for overall fragrance, this is the better fragrance. This is more well-rounded. All the edges are just smooth as butter. This is round, but it's a little bit more rough around the edges. The citrus is not as well blended. It's a little bit more tart, but it's still a beautiful fragrance. And I'm gonna be honest, Complete honesty. Average people will not be able to tell the difference between Missoni and Blue de Chanel if you were to wear it. Just saying. Now, if you did a head-to-head -head comparison with them, yes. But this will make you smell amazing and garner you attention. This will also make you smell amazing and garner you attention. This is half the price of this. You get a 100 ml bottle of this for half the price of a 50 ml bottle of this. So what do I suggest? Well, first off, I suggest that you go out and get yourself some samples of both of these. Go to your local department stores and pick yourselves up some decants. Test drive these. In my honest opinion, Blue de Chanel is the better fragrance. But this is really, really sticking good too. If you're looking at buying blue fragrance and you can't afford Blue de Chanel, I suggest trying out Missoni Parfum Pour Homme. It all boils down to you. It boils down to your finances. It boils down to your skin. It also boils down to whether or not you want to smell like everybody who wears Blue de Chanel or set yourself apart a little bit and be a little bit more unique and wear the Pour Homme. Only you can know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! <laughs> Some of you guys probably have never even seen the old school G.I. Joe, but whatever. Yeah, knowing's half the battle. So there it is, the Battle of the Blues. They're both great fragrances. This one is just better. This one is still great. And you have an opportunity to win. So don't forget to enter the giveaway. That's it for me, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And if you did, don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, you're stinking beautiful. Happy Father's Day again. Till next time, happy scent trails. Mm -hmm.